A large bell pepper is nature's own protein bowl. Have you ever thought of it like that? It also offers a unique way to serve dinner fresh from the garden. It's an all fresh, all healthy meal, just the way my food guest Karen Mangum likes to make them. This is a feast for the eyes, first of all, and I know you, so I know it's gonna taste great too. Aren't they beautiful? They're and they're coming, I know. That Fresh, plant-based eating, not only beautiful to the eye, but also beautiful to the body. Plant-based eating is so healthy, and we want to make sure that we try to incorporate maybe some more meatless meals in our week. Mm -hmm, I don't know mm -hmm. if you do that or I not. I try. It's difficult, though. It I find is. We default to the chicken or the ground we beef. We do. We think we need to have that meat on the plate, but there are lots of alternatives, and so today we're going to talk about that, but the bell pepper is a great way to start just to hold all that delicious goody in it. Oh, when the food can be a vessel and a healthy food? Exactly. Exactly. That, we're exactly. Winning. We are winning. So we're going to start with a little bit of oil uh, that's heated up, and we're going to add some onions and okay. some garlic, of course. So, so immediately the family will start saying what's for dinner because we've thrown right. in the flavor burst. Exactly. And they'll smell it, and they'll <laughs> say, okay, I like what's happening here. And then to that, we're going to start adding more of the bulk, the, the foundation of the meal. Okay. And we'll start with some tomatoes that have some green chili added. Mm -hmm, that's a great mm -hmm. little combination. I love that product. Mm -hmm. And then I do love beans, and I have to admit I'm a fan of S&W beans okay. because they're really nice quality at a good price. So I put in some good black beans into there. Also, S&W sells a, a, a lower sodium version as well. All right. So I like that brand. So there go the black beans, and that's the protein. Well, you right? you feed hungry men at your house, I right? I do. You've got hungry athletes. Exactly. Like do, do you find it hard to convince them, like I sometimes do my husband, that a meal doesn't need meat? I think when if you incorporate a meatless meal at least once a week, they'll get used to it and realize, gosh, I'm getting enough protein, I'm getting enough volume. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been eating these stuffed peppers at my house recently, and honestly, everybody is loving them. They feel They're full, eating, they feel satisfied. They do. Plus, here comes some more bulk, so okay. we're going to add corn. Mm -hmm. Why don't you grab the rice? Sure thing. And I'm going to add in some olives as well. So it's kind of a unique combination. Olives, of huh? Olives, yeah, why not? And some people might not like them, but in this dish, I think you're going to find that they really you don't hardly well, notice them. Well, there's so much flavor but going it's on. good flavor. So then here comes more flavor. Mm -hmm. I've got chipotle powder, mm. or you can use any chili that you like, and cumin. Okay. Okay. So we'll add that in, and then, of course, some cilantro. There it goes. And if you want more spice, you're welcome to add the sriracha. That would be my husband. Okay. Pass the bottle. Well, so we'll <laughs> okay. throw in a tablespoon just for your husband. All right, thanks. Okay. Stir it up. Beautiful colors. And get that sauteing. It smells so, so great. So it's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got some finished product over here and if you would grab the peppers sure. Uh, Brooke, what I do with the peppers is I top them, remove all the membranes and the seeds, and then to speed up the cooking process, I actually just put them in a dish like this, throw them into the microwave for five oh, minutes. Okay. It softens them sufficiently so that all I have to do really is just take my filling. Oh, that's a great trick. Put it right into the pepper. Uh huh. And there's plenty. This serving, this uh, recipe makes plenty for to fill four big peppers. They're beautiful. Then I'm going to top those with a little little bit of cheese and put them in a hot oven about 350, maybe another 10, 15 minutes. Okay. And that's all. So it's really a 30 minute dish if you want it that fast. I don't want to shortchange my family a beautiful dinner, but a great party option too, right? Yes. If you're serving or wanting to impress exactly. guests. Exactly. And another thing you could do is take the little tiny peppers that you find at the store. Okay. And slice those in half and fill that with this with the and that makes a great little hors d'oeuvre. Gorgeous. Yeah. Are we spooning this? Are we knife and forking this? What are we Pretty doing? Pretty much you have to do that. So if over here to the finished product, um, sometimes we'll fill that with a little bit of sour cream, avocado. But I have to admit, to eat that, I put it on a plate, cut it in half, mm -hmm. and slice it, eat it with a knife. Yum. For yeah. sure. Just dice it yep. up. Yep. And reviews are raving. They are. So inside Karen's kitchen, and it's on the blog today on the front page. And uh, other ways to start working with me. Nutrition counseling just starting. Yeah, we love. Oh, you are starting yes, nutrition counseling. Yes, I'm starting nutrition oh, what, counseling. I know you've been asked about that for years. Right, exactly. We love Karen for so many reasons, but you do put forward beautiful flavors like Thank this you. meal is a perfect example and, and help us do it in a helpful Thank way you too. Very so, much. your website again? Inside Karen's Kitchen. All right. Dot com. And we'll link you over from our recipe page right. too, just to make it easy. She'll, her website will quickly become one of your favorites. Karen, thank you. Thank you, Brett. Thank you so much.